You know, it is summer break and Studio 12 is kind of winding down for our summer vacation, so we don't have a lot going on. Oh, great. Mothership. Hello? Bruce, Mothership calling. Yes. General F5 and I want to inform you of our arrival for summer vacation. Do you have our accommodations ready? Summer vacation accommodation? Now, we are going to require 22 pounds of gravel, 6 yards of seaweed, and of course, 3 and a half ounces of lemon juice for our stay. Lemon juice? And don't forget, we will be bringing F flat 7 7 and of course, half dim with us as well. Half dim? What? So, we will need extra pods for this year's sun stay. Sun stay? Mothership out. And we're going to get a great look at this wonderful West Montgomery tune, Full House. Now check out how you can get more videos like this one. Just navigate to Bruce Gregory Video On Demand. When you get to the site, you can browse videos in a wide variety of categories. Each video covers a different topic and has bonus content and supporting documentation. There's even a free trial option. Don't forget to use your promo code to get a discount off your first purchase. And the link for that promo code is in the description down below. Now, if you dig the video, throw it a like, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell notification because that's going to let you know every time I upload a new video. Don't forget, the channel releases new videos on every Tuesday and every Friday. So let's get started. by Mr. Wes Montgomery. Man, this is just a time period classic. Of course, this really kind of epitomizes, in my opinion, the hard bop era. And of course, it really is a modal tune in a lot of ways, kind of a vamp. And then, of course, he takes the bridge of what, in my opinion, is Autumn Leaves in just a different key and walks it down. Of course, Wes was just one of those great, great players of all times, all feel. And many didn't know that he really never read music. And he wasn't someone who was such a technician in terms of notation, but he was such a fan, fantastic guitarist and, of course, songwriter. Really, he's just vamping on an F minor to B flat 7, and it's kind of like this. And, of course, he gets to that wonderful C7 sharp 9. Now, this particular tune is really interesting because it's in 3, and we haven't covered a lot of 3 tunes other than all blues. And it's one that I think you really need to get your arms around because it's an interesting solo pattern, particularly when a bass player starts to walk. Let's check it out. is just basically the complete A section. And then on the B section, he's just basically using a walk down. Until he gets to that dominant four and then. And that brings us back to F minor. Now, you can think of the tune as an E-flat or an F minor, however you want to look at it, because it is a vamp, and really you have a lot of options. But I'm basically thinking B-flat mixolydian over this, or F minor or F dorian, really, in a lot of ways. F melodic minor will work, so you have a lot of options. And, of course, Wes had a really strong connection to Miles Davis and, of course, the great John Coltrane. So he was really writing tunes at the time, like he heard, but also he was really, really a big fan of pianists like Wynton Kelly and of course don't forget he loved standards like Autumn Leaves so this tune actually drew from that particular standard as well and he was a big big fan of Bill Evans and don't forget Dave Brubeck so you have some feel in here that has all of that combined when it comes to playing on this tune the melody is not that complicated on the A section it goes like this <laughs> And 
on the B section, he's just basically following the changes down with a couple of minor triads. It sounds like this. And that's the entire tune when you really come to the harmony and the melody. And I really dig it because it's one we can get our arms around and play solo. And it's also one that sounds really, really great with the band. Let's check this solo out. So, in terms of soloing, what am I doing? I'm basically using B-flat mixolydian, and I'm kind of using the neck to kind of work on it. I can think of that as F Dorian, or as B-flat mixolydian. And then on the bridge, we're really kind of following the changes. We have a 2-5 to A-flat. Think in A-flat major till we get to the dominant, which is kind of like there will never be another U. And then kind of in G-flat there until we go back to a minor 2-5, which would be to F. A lot of times you'll see the tunes that Wes wrote, and he would play over every single chord change because he's playing exactly what he's hearing he's not really thinking theoretically or grouping chords or anything like that most likely we're not inside his head but that's really where we're kind of approaching it from this standpoint dig it full house i cannot recommend this tune enough it's just a fun tune to play and of course you've seen a lot of people cover this tune from christian mcbride to pat metheny and of course don't forget pat martino's version which is the one i dig the most now if you dig this video make sure to check out my video on all blues and all the other videos on the vhx.tv site of course the channel releases new videos on every tuesday and every friday and don't forget to check out the new series on Wednesdays, Jazz Standards You Need to Know. And I will see you next time. Peace.